Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Pod Creations uh, tutorial videos. Today I'm going to just go over some beading basics and show how to do the one needle method, two needle method, and the lazy stitch. I use size zero Nymo thread for pretty much all of my beading and a size 12 beading needle, short, John James. But there are different sizes of needles and different size threads for different size projects depending on what you're doing and the size bead you have. I use a 70 ultra firm sew and stabilizer pellon and um, I use sketch pad paper to back my beadwork. Kind of gives it just a firm, keeps it flat, stabilizer. And I either put it on top or underneath the pellon depending on the design. So just the basic of threading your needle and putting a knot in the end. It's some people don't kind of have a simple idea. So I just wrap the needle around my finger, roll it, and then pull it with my fingernail. Gives a little knot right at the end. In there. So basically for the one needle method, we're gonna just go the straight line. Two needle method, show on a curve, and then the lacy stitch between the lines. So to start the one needle method, we're just gonna come up through the pillow and we're gonna put on four beads at a time. So four beads, put on, push it all the way up to where they're stuck, and then you'll go down right at the end or that and come up between the two and go back two beads. Put your needle back through the two beads and get you right in the position to continue that same method four beads at a time. Snug them up, needle down, come up through the two and then go back through the two beads and then just continue that as far as you need to to finish your project with that one needle method of beading. It uh, comes to the end and then I just come back up and go through the last two beads and go down into the pillow to finish whatever line I have. Uh, depending on the design, I may go back through the whole line just to get the line to look a little more straight, more uniform. And the one needle method doesn't lay as flat as I like. It looks a little lumpy to me. But I use it for small designs like the sunburst on my newborn baby mocks. A small design that doesn't require much sewing. And then the small starburst on my medicine bags. It works good for a small design. So then the two needle method is what I normally use for just about everything. I'm going to thread and not a sewing needle. And the beads will be on the beading needle and thread. Wrap it around my pinky and hold it the, with my left hand firm. Put the beads up where they need to be. Come up through the pillow and tack down every two beads. And I'm coming up and going down on the line that I drew and then Anything I do, I usually outline my designs or the piece with the one uh, row of beads or two. And I use the two needle method. So it makes it a lot easier to control the beads and get them to where I want them to be. Within the work that I whatever 
project that I'm doing it with. And with the teeny little method in kind of being able to manipulate the beads better, it's easy to go around curves and follow the design in any direction that you need the beads to go in it and makes it a lot easier to control. <coughs> being able to hold it with one hand and tack it down with the other. <coughs> just really does make it a lot easier to go around the curves and get the beads where you want them to be and then tack them down the way you need them. I use a two-needle method in just about everything else I do. Um, it just is looks better to me in the projects that I do than a one-needle method. And just continue on where you want it to be. And being sure you're on that, the line that you want it to be on. And just end it where you need to end it. So once you have finished the line, and it's much smoother than a one needle method. Like I said, I outline my projects with the two needle method. And a straight across design on a, anything you do is done in a two needle method. Then we're just going to tie a knot on the back side where you're going to put the needle through the middle of the loop and pull it tight. And I usually double knot it and snip it off close. And there you are. And then, so we're going to do the lazy stitch. You're going to go in between two lines of an area. You can cover a lot of space getting those beads in that the straight line and covering a row by row. I used that method when I made my moccasins. I usually eight beads is a real good count. And you're just going to put the beads across the line. And when you come up next to the next row, you're going to make sure that you're far enough away so the next row of beads can lay flat and not bunched up. So make sure your needle goes down next to it so the beads are just laying nice and close together. And you're going to make sure you just get that little area so the beads are laying down flat. And that's the lazy stitch method. And like I said, it covers a lot of area <coughs> a little quicker. And you can get some good design, <coughs> even that's lazy stitch. Just being sure you put the beads where they need to be. Yeah, just it looks real nice and neat. People have used it for beading in large areas. Okay. That's, so that's my um, basics of beading. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this helps in some way. You can come and join our group. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to answer, uh, ask us or me, or step on my website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com. Like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.